Member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. There are over 28,000 children and youth on wait lists for mental health care services, and wait times can reach up to 2.5 years. The impact of the pandemic has been hard on our kids. According to Sick Kids, over 70 percent of children reported worsened mental health during the initial lockdowns. Speaker, mental health is health, and it should be available when and where our kids need it, not months, even years down the road. So will the Premier commit today to delivering the additional $150 million targeted to youth mental health in this year's budget that is needed to reduce wait times for children's mental health services Question. to under 30 days. The Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you for that question. Mr. Speaker, from day one, when our government was elected, we made mental health and addictions a priority. Yes. In fact, I am the first Associate Minister of Mental Health and Addictions in the history of the province of Ontario. That, that Mr. Speaker, is the commitment that this Premier made and that our government made to ensure that mental health and addiction was looked after in the province of Ontario by creating those continuums of care. But to put behind the fact that there's a ministry created is the fact that we have $3.8 billion that has been invested on an annualized basis, 174, 175, 176, and now we're investing $525 million here, here. annually in mental health and addictions in the province of Ontario to create those, those uh, continuums of Response. care. And of course, what we've done is we're looking at the lifespan and addressing the issue for the children. And in the supplemental, I'll give you more details as to, uh, as to the investments that are being made. Thank you. The supplementary question. Speaker, I want to be clear. I respect the associate minister's work on this issue. I actually appreciate him coming to Guelph and providing funding for a youth wellness hub. But let's be clear with people and honest with people. Our kids need more. I met a youth on a suicide watch list who had to meet wait months to access therapy. And this is happening all across the province. So let me repeat, some youth are waiting up to 2.5 years to access services. Speaker, everything is not okay when it comes to youth mental health. And our kids need all of us, everybody in this house, to do better. So I'm offering the Premier an opportunity today to say yes to an additional $150 million on top of what's already been invested in mental health in this year's budget to reduce wait times Question. for our children to less than 30 days. Yes or no, will the government support this request? The Associate Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Once again, I would like to reiterate the importance of mental health as it relates to children and youth. Through the Ministry of Education, substantial sums of money, four times what has ever been invested by previous governments, by the, for, the, the previous Liberal government, supported by the NDP. Those investments have been made and are, are having effects and Im impact on children. In addition to that, in the continuum of care, which is so important, as kids need supports outside of the school day, we invested 5%. We increased the overall budget by 5% to all children and youth uh, operators within the continuum of care, outside of the schools, to provide additional supports. We've created youth wellness hubs and continue to invest through the Addiction Recovery Fund in additional youth and wellness hubs, because it's not just about giving them treatment, it's also Honest. about building resiliency and providing them with the supports they need to become better, stronger, and be able to participate fully in school and, of course, in life later on. So we are...